action. Slavery, to understand this, there were two kinds of Negroes. There was that old house Negro and the field Negro. And the house Negro always looked out for his master. When the field Negroes got too much out of line, he held them back in check. Malcolm X got me fired up this morning. I listened to the speech about the house Negro and the field Negro. He made these comparisons. The exact same black rhetoric will tell you that the goal of the white man is to divide and conquer. And then you have a powerful black man taking other black men from other black men, dividing them and conquering them by telling black men they ain't as powerful as white men. I don't idolize no man. I respect every man. I respect my father because he made me. And for every man around me, I respect them on the premise of being a man, but I don't idolize those men. I accept the fact they're different. They're not more powerful than me. They're not better than me. They have different skills than me. And that's it. We love Malcolm X so much because he was a powerful black man. Every black man was like, holy shit. We ain't never heard no black man talk like that before with so much power, with so much ferocity. We idolized a man who idolized men. You have to be careful of a man who was named by another man who wasn't his father. Listen to what I just said again. The man behind me, Muhammad Ali, he got his name from a man who was not his father. Beware of any man who idolizes men because they have not yet become a man. What does it mean to be a powerful man? The only way that you can be a powerful man is to have children. Why? Because children are the currency of humanity. Without babies, you have no power. That's period. Any man who says they want to be powerful and they chase money, all right, you got some money. Now, what happens to the money when you die? It goes to someone else's children. The currency for humanity is children. So if you want to be a powerful man, the only way that you can is to have some babies. Children are an economic liability in our society to men. Because as soon as you have a baby, they say, how are you going to take care of that baby? Now, if there's a man in the picture, then the man has to foot the bill for that child. Now, if there is no man in the picture, then the government comes in they give a woman every resource in the book to be a powerful man you have to understand power a government is not powerful a government is simply a tool and if that tool does not do the thing that i needed to do the declaration of independence says you must abolish that government it is the right of the people to change any government that does not benefit the people that goes directly for you man if the government is not working in your benefit then you need to change the government yes hey dear government take your hands off of my children these are my babies you don't own them you don't control them any resource that comes to my children must come through me you want to give my children schooling it comes through me you want to give my children welfare it comes through me you want to give my children housing it comes through me that's accepting the responsibility of a man you can't let no another man dictate to you on how you raise your children if you want to be a truly powerful man you have to work with other men you have to come together in a spirit of collaboration with other men to build with other men if you're a man and you ain't got no children it's very hard to be a powerful man because children give you duty, responsibility. They give you a lineage. You build in order to leave what you built to your children. When I was listening to Malcolm X, I wanted to get some encouragement. I wanted some motivation. But I was listening to a man who was giving me ideas on division. Division isn't power. When you divide something, you make it less powerful. For every man who does not know where he's going, you're going nowhere. If you don't have no plan, you're planning to fail. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.